Okay, now I've brought us back to our WYSIWYG reports section because I want to show you some additional capabilities on our platform to provide some unique experiences, apply white labeling, and get that scheduling done so that you can send these out on a regular basis. Now I'm starting totally from scratch here and we'll see what we can do. You can either add a section of metrics from any one of our integrations. Uh, so we can grab Google Analytics, you can grab Facebook information, Twitter, Google uh, AdWords, Bing ads, email metrics, uh, or SEO metrics and bring it right into the platform. So we're going to choose to throw in Google Analytics. We'll grab this block for a summary and it's going to quickly populate all of these different widgets uh, showing an overview, a very positive change in traffic that I'm happy to report, as well as a table showing what different channels and how they've moved over time. But if I want a very specific piece of information, I can create a custom widget and decide that I want to see, you know, uh, for goals, uh, a KPI that surfaces just phone calls that are being tracked. Uh, this account has uh, an integration with CallRail. It's bringing in that conversion information and I wanna be able to report it to the client. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that in and that adds an individual KPI unit onto the page. And then I can take this report to the next step. So if we go up to report settings, um, I can configure this as a scheduled report to show the client uh, on a daily, weekly, or monthly, or even quarterly basis, um, how things are progressing. Figure out which day of the month you're going to send it. Choose the date range, whether it's this last month. Uh, you know, a lot of times your reporting range is different. You might do all of your reports for the previous month and send it on the in the first week following, um, or it might be fixed from the last 30 days. You might want to do it ad hoc. So let's choose for the last month. And you can choose to make this profile, this setting of these particular metrics available as a template across all of your profiles. So that's fantastic if you're working um, at, with multiple clients or you're working with multiple domains and you need a similar report to be sent out. Now we can now jump over to the scheduled email. We can configure an email to be sent to specific people with the title at the top. We can send it as an HTML link, a PDF link, or as a PDF attachment. No, the email can't be blank. It's got to go to somebody. We'll just turn that off for right now so that we can submit this as a new report. And now we need to add some white label elements. Up at the top left corner, you can customize and add a logo. Uh, so we've got our Raven Tools logo listed here. Uh, and we'll add that to the report. You can take this one step further with a lot of our white label options. Um, you can customize your company name, the logo, the favicon that shows up at the top of the page, an iPad, iPhone icon, because these reports are mobile friendly. Um, we even have a custom landing page and hey, you can even change the footer at the bottom of the product. So it's a completely white label solution. People can log on as read-only users and experience a portion of Raven tools that you control, uh, or you can send them reports that are completely white label. It's a very flexible system that's going to meet your needs as an agency, as an enterprise solution, or as a freelancer.